What's good, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? I had a kid's girlfriend's favorite poker tuber, all that good stuff. Today, we are in IBA season three, and we are actually, fun fact, let me turn my mic up real quick so y'all can hear me. Fun fact, we are actually, now I'm peeking, now I don't know what's going on. We are actually, thing is lagging a little bit. My computer has been like acting really weird all day. Like, YouTube videos kept buffering. It's been really, it's just been a weird day, man. The whole for this video was watchable, okay? Hopefully it's watchable. It's all I gotta say. Um, but yeah, man, we're fighting uh, the commissioner of the draft league, slightly salty, aka coach of the. I totally didn't forget the name, team name. Totally didn't. Montreal Giga Impact. So fresh out of Canada, I'm assuming, right? That's what we're assuming. But yeah, I don't know, man. Either way. We're actually not going in on a team today. I'm not even going to talk about the team. I'm just showing you the team that I'm bringing, showing you the potential six I think he could bring, and that's all we're doing. I might pop up his team on the screen right now of all the possibilities that he could have, maybe. But yeah, man, um, if we win this one, basically next week we'll be fighting him again in the playoffs. I'm pretty sure if my math is correct. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so yeah, if we win this one, we're going to fight him next week again. So that's kind of the reason why I don't really want to go deep into my uh, sets, even though like... In my team builders, I really don't necessarily go all that deep into the sets anyway. So, yeah, man. Um, yeah, man, I've been talking long enough for no reason because uh, I just wanted to give a little bit of filler before the battle starts. So, yeah, man, playoffs is next week. This is going to be our first opponent. Could potentially be our first opponent in the playoffs as well. And uh, let's try and go out on top with a W. And uh, we'll see you when the battle starts. This is a bad intro. It's a bad intro. Oh, my hang on. I just want to get this over with, brother. Because then playoffs start, and then we probably fight this man again. I'm going to have to use a 20-minute timer again. I'm just so glad I joined other draft leagues like the UPA and the BBL that, like, literally demand the timer. Like, you literally can't, you know what I mean, do without it. All right, and we see just Lottie instead of Meowstick, so that's pretty cool. Just Lottie instead of Meowstick. All right, so no Meowstick. Bye-bye, kitty. And we see Lottie instead. Latias, Latias. Hello, Lottie, you beautiful girl, you. Lottie's the girl, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right, well, either way, that's a cool team you got there, buddy. Um, Now, are they leading with Webbs or Raquinid? Are they leading? I don't know. I don't know. It looks, you know, to me, are they leading with Cartana? I don't know. To me, it looks like Zeo Aura is literally the freest of leads. The only lead I don't want to see is probably Thunderous. But even then, I'll just knock off. I'll just knock off. But Zero Aura it can literally just, just decimate this team. Um, <clears throat> if I play my cards right. So let's see how it goes. Could he be like Wakan, Barry, Araquanid? Then I guess so, yeah. If he is, then he's not knocking Zero Aura out. So I just, I would just uh, Plasma Fist. Um, what are we looking for? Thunderous, since we got to run Calx very quickly. Because you know how it'd be. Uh, let's see. Let's just look at Life Orb for a second. Life Orb. With a uh, grass knot. Okay. 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 I don't know what I just said. I don't know why I'm saying okay. All right. Let's see how it goes. Who do you lead off with? We lead off with the threat. Zebra Wobra. Zebra Aura. Kit Kat 2.0. That's some good music, man. Sounds like some uh, Odin. He did lead off with the god dang thunderous. This is a little upsetting. So here's the thing. I am going to knock off. Because the, well, the worst thing this man can hit me with is a Focus Blast, right? And the other worst thing, like, it, and it's not killing. It just doesn't. It just doesn't kill. And we are recording, so that's cool. Yeah, we're just going to knock off. I could bulk up. Just going to knock off. I'd rather just knock. He can't freely Volt Switch. Like, the worst he can do is Nasty. If he Nasty Plots, it's kind of devastating, actually. We'd be, I'd be scared. I'd be very scared. Let's see what he went for. That did damage. Choice specs. Wow, he was specs. And he went for the focus blast. <laughs> kind of wild. Kind of wild. Hate to see that. That did damage. Ooh, he's going to kill me. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place now. So he was specs. He was specs. Who's eating this? Absolutely nobody. Um, so what we can do is we can go out and Amanda Buzz. Not really, because we knocked off his specs. Uh, Sanaconda? We go out into Santa Conda and then go out into Amanda. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. I think this is going to be tough. I don't think he would Thunderbolt here. Hopefully not. 
And hopefully he doesn't read me in Grass Knot either. That would suck. We're going to hopefully Focus Blast and hope he lands. Focus Blast, okay. He does land. This is good. How much is he doing? The Santa Conda. Doing a hefty chunk. And we get that Shan Spit activated. Now, can we go out into Dracovish? We could, but it's very risky. Very, very risky. I think we need Mandibus still alive. Don't necessarily... The Crogno is good here, though. But if he Grass Knots, then we're fine. Even if you focus blast, we're actually fine, because we outspeed. Right? Oh crap, wait. Yeah, we outspeed. Yeah, we outspeed. Alright, so Krogonal's the play. 100% is Snowflake. 100%. We have left these two, so that's gonna be good for us. He should reveal the Grass Knot here. 100%. Specs is actually very surprising, though. Loki would have rather him kept the Specs. Um. Loki would have rather him kept the Specs to, uh, what's it called? To, um. What am I trying to say here? This Thunderous is gonna die. But, basically. A Loki would have liked him to have kept the spec, because then if I could have predicted like a Thunderbolt turn, I could have just went out into a freeze Santa Con. I got my rocks up for freezies. Um, and now we freeze drive. Because there's not a switch in. Like if he goes P2, I toxic. Like it's just this is not a switch in. He goes Kartana, I go Mandy. You know what I mean? I really want to get my rocks up with Santa Conda though. And you know what's funny is uh, a lot of the times I complain about um, how the video looks when under Sandstorm. Um, and it's funny because I'm I I've been bringing Sandstorm like all season. Well, I've only ever bought like a few games, but it's st it's still just funny to me that like I'm using Sandstorm even though like I've actively am against recording battles with Sandstorm because <laughs> it just makes it look bad. It really just does. But actually, maybe that's just me. But either way, uh, Krogan knocks out Thunderous, which is beautiful. That's actually freeze up um, Zero Aura's Plasma Fist very much so. So if he's not Scarf, uh, what's it called? Then we're good here. I'm assuming he would go Cart. No, it just goes this. All right, I'm toxicing, brother. Hopefully, we can land a toxic. Nice fire toxic. Trace, my levitate. That's pretty cool. Not bad. So, he's trace Porygon, not download. So, we will fire off the toxic. The freest of toxics I've ever seen. And uh, see what happens. Because the worst thing this man can do is try attack me. And it shouldn't really do that much. Like, if I had recovery, that'd be fire here. But I actually may just go Heatran and then wish I was... Um... Oh, he teleports. Sick. We'll take that. Thanks for the toxic, brother. All right, so he's teleport on P2. Teleport Trace. Teleport Trace. So what are you going out into? Paperclip? Okay, easy. Easy. Easy Mandibuzz. Even if you ask D Life Orb, bro. It's easy Mandibuzz. And I just foul play. Easy Mandibuzz. Easiest Mandibuzz of my life. Hold on. Let's make this play real quick. Leftovers. Hurry up, brothers. All right. Mandy. Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. Hello, kids. Hi, Mandy. How the kids? It's Mandibuzz. Womandibuzz, right? That's the nickname, if I'm not mistaken. Womandibuzz. She's here eating up Kartana's hits. Wait for it. Sacred the sword. Eden, Eden. Eden, Eden. How you like that Rocky helmet? Yep. All right, now we're going to U-turn, predicting the Finny. It's just what we do. We're U-turning, predicting the Finny. We're going to assume that's also Scarf. I'm not even writing this down, man. Let's see. Who's coming in? Finny? Digiduck. Damage is what we're doing. Um, I kind of low-key want to go tracing my overcoat. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Um, wish I had knockoff on this Mon. Because I would have just clicked it there. Alright, uh, so what's our, what's our, what's our Digiduck counter? I think I just, like, I really want to, um, just knock off with Zara. Um, I really just want to knock off with Zara. Because the Ice Beam does 24 to 28. Um, try attack. The only problem... Oh, no, no, wait, wait. What am I doing? Don't I just go out into, into Dracovish? No, I don't, actually. Wow, it doesn't do it. Um, I'm just going to do it, though. See how it goes. No, that's not smart. Let me go out into... Oh, it has Ice Beam for Santa Conda. Let me go out into Heatran, actually. We'll go out into Heatran. It's probably not smart. Hold on, let's see. I think um, Santa Conda actually might have been a decent... No, it wouldn't have. Uh, so, Yeetran... Steel Beam is doing actual damage. Um, and he's traced Overcoat. I could just Lava Plume for the most amount of damage. And I think I will do just that. Even if he goes top of Finny, it's fine. We're going to get some damage off of Lava Plume. Scout some damage off. That's looking like max HP, max Spadef. So he might be Spadef. He might not be defensive. So now he's in Dracovish range. 
He wasn't before, but now he is. I should have probably just won Dracovish. Now let's see who he goes out into. Minion. Who is a Raquinid. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so this liquidation is gonna actually hurt. A Raquinid, we see Lefty, so that's actually really good for us. So this liquidation literally kills me. Ancient Power does 35. I think I like low-key should go for it though. Um, if he's not Water Bubble, I might live, actually. But he should be Water Bubble. Um, even though, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna get my Ancient Power Yip on. Yeah, let's just get some Ancient Power Chip. Nice Ancient Power Chip. This could be for Zero Aura. We could probably just go out to that right now. He does go for Lunge. Okay, I'm glad I went for Ancient Power. Let's go for it again. He's trying to read me. We don't make those... We don't need predictions out here. Like, actually, wait, what was the read? Because liquidation in every sense of the word was the, was the was the answer there. Unless I go hard vish. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't understand that. But who am I? You know what I mean? Who am I? I'm going to click Angel Power again. Click Angel Power again. It's just free. If we get Omni Boost, we get Omni Boost. But I'm not going for that. I'm, I'm just going for chip. That's all I need is the chip. Um, liquidation. Okay, this should kill us now. Let's see. Oh, he's not, he's not Water Bubble, bro. There's no way. He's Water Absorb. He's water absorb. That's fine, because we literally go out into Zero Aura and just get the freest of, uh... The actual freest of, uh, Plasma Fist. So this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. And then I'd probably just knock off the, uh, the Digiduck. The Digiduck. Porygon 2. Repeat 2. He goes for Protect. Okay. So Protect, Liquidation, Lunge. Sticky Webs? Toxic? I don't know. I'm clicking Age of Power again, guys. I don't have a reason not to. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't. I literally just don't. I'm just going for Yip. Just give me the Yip, please. I just want the Yip. Didn't get to use Heatran for, like, what I wanted to use it for as, like, a, as, like, a Tapu Fini, like, annoyance. <gasps> we get the Omni Boost a little too late. It was just a little too late, Heatran. I was about to say, unless he goes for, like, the Sticky Webs or something, but nah. Man, imagine we got that Omni Boost later. You know what I mean? Or earlier, I should say. Imagine we got the Omni Boost earlier. You know? Imagine. Can we imagine it together? So I'm going on to Kit Kat. Because uh, that's quite literally the answer. <laughs> and I'm just going to click Plasma Fist, man. He's leftovers. He's not walking berry. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... It's, it's just free. It's just a free Plasma Fist. He does go for Protect to scout the Plasma Fist. A part of me really did want to bulk up there. Like, I actually did. I just didn't. Um, but a part of me wanted to. And that's all I want you guys to know. I just want you guys to know a part of me wanted to. So, what are you going out into, bro? Lottie? Like, I'm just, I'm just, in plas I'm just plasma fisting, dude. If you want to go out in a Lottie, you can go out in a Lottie. I'm plasma fisting. He should keep this alive, though. If it's water, if it's water absorb, he has to keep this alive, I think. I feel like. If it's water absorb. Uh, because then you need that for... Yeah, okay, it is. It's gotta be water absorb. I'm just, I'm just assuming. He goes on a Digiduck. Okay. Does a Plasma Fist and a CC knock this thing out? I'm going to assume yes. Let's find out. Traystar, Volt Absorb. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yo, this man is smart. This man is smart, smart. Alright, so let's see. Knock off in a close combat will knock it out. So I'm just going to do that. That was actually smart. This man is smart. <sighs> now we knock. He shouldn't knock me out unless he gets like a high roll try attack. Toxic. I'll take that. Not really, but I'll take it kind of. So let's see. We've seen teleport. We've seen ice beam. Have we seen ice beam? We've seen teleport. We've only seen teleport and toxic actually. He could have protect on this too. This man really bring a toxic protect to like a 20 minute timer battle. Like really, bro? <laughs> Is that really what we're doing in 2019? No, wait, 2021? 2021. I'll take this, bro. P2 is gone. P2 is no more. You'll love to see that. Zoar gets a KO. Where's P2? P2 gone. Um, now this gives him a this gives him a free uh Cartania. Um, but if he goes out into Finny, I'm just gonna attack. If he goes on to Finny, I'm just gonna attack. Don't have a reason not to. Um, and if he goes out into Cartana, I just go back out into Mandibuzz and probably Roost that turn. Just because a Sacred Sword will not... Two Sacred Swords will knock me out at that point. Alright, so yeah, we will we will go on a, out in a Mandibuzz right now. 
We will go out into Mandy. Hello, Mandy. How you doing? Hi, kids. And then we roost again. Or well, we roost for the first time, I should say. On the potential Sacred Sword slash Leaf Blade. Knock off. We'll take that. That's doing literally nothing. I actually don't have to, uh... I actually don't have to, um... Roost here, but I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna. Um, yeah, I'm, just, I'm still gonna. And then we'll U-turn on the... Well, if it goes if it goes Finny, then we won't U-turn. Um, but if it goes, like, uh, Lottie, we'll U-turn. Just a scout. It goes for knockoff again. Sick. Nice. Now I'm foul playing, then. If you want to... If you want to... This is what we're gonna do. Actually, no, 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 no. Why wouldn't I U-turn? Why wouldn't I U-turn? There's no way he's giving me this. There's, like, literally no way he's giving me this. Hold up. He should swap here, in my opinion. Like, if I'm him, I'm going Finny. It just makes sense. Like, even if I'm predicting the U-turn. Like, Finny just, Finny just pressures. Especially if it's, like, Scarf Finny. Or even Scarf Lottie. He just knocks off again. What is wrong with this man? I could've just foul played. Crit. Crit didn't matter. Maybe I should've just foul played this man. Okay, so, knock off. Scar oh, nice crit. Nice crit back. Crit for crit. So, Scarf knock off. I don't want to get... I really don't want to do this again. Um... Is Santa kind of eating, eating? Cartania. Scarf. Level 50. To Santa Conda. It's doing 27 to 32. And I don't like that. I really don't. 96. Am I 54? Um, I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess if he knocks off again, like he knocks off again, right? I don't necessarily need rocks anymore. Um, EQ would be nice because it would hit everything that's not Lottie. Um, I could glare too. But I don't want to glare in the fin in front of the Finny. Let me just Earthquake. He withdraws, hopefully not in a Lottie. If it's in a Lottie, I'm going to be a little upset. Minion. Okay, who's this? Nice. Okay. So this will be doing damage. To, not not to him. Like, this will be doing damage to me is what I'm saying. Arachnid will actually be doing damage to me. Uh, Could have went for the Rock Tomb. Would have been the play. We should be faster than this thing, actually. So I think I could still go for Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb is 31. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just go for the Rock Tomb. He protects. Bro, why? Why are you doing this? Why? Like, actually, why? This is so stupid. Bro, this is this is a 20 minute timer and you brought double like what the fuck? <laughs> this man is bringing multiple protects? Like what do you mean? Um let's save Sanaconda. Well, how much do you do to Manda Buzz, bro? Liquidation that's 35 to 41. Um Well no, because then Cartana runs wild. I could this thing could get knocked out, but then like it doesn't kill everything, I don't think. Um, I still, you know what? I think, I think this is though. I think this is probably the right time to do it though. I'm just gonna rock to him. Uh, maybe if I had more attack investment, that would have KO'd. But it's okay. If he liquidates here, he liquidates here. I'll be cool with it. He does liquidate here. Cool, cool. I'm gonna just go Dracovish then. I'm just gonna do it. It's going Vish. Just go and fish, and we will we will do damage to Finny and stuff. Crappy thing is, I think I have to choice ban Rock Blast actually, in order to do anything here. What's my other move? Yeah, I have to choice ban Rock Blast. Damn it! So I have to go Snowflake. <laughs> oh, I hate it here. I can't even go Drake of right now. I have to go Snowflake. Oh, it is what it is, guys. It's hap It's how it happens, man. He goes for protect! Again! Bro, stop it! What are you doing? Like, this is literally a waste of turn. This made no sense whatsoever. Like, you're getting, like, what? How much damage are you getting on Snowflake? 112 to 102? Wow. Wow. 10 bits of damage. Bro, I'm literally... This is so stupid. This is the dumbest... Let me calm down. Let me calm down, bro, before I act a fool. Because that's just so stupid. Oh my god, like this man, like this man, this man, quote unquote, forces you to, to use regular timer because he refuses to learn the, new, the the land timer. And then fucking runs protect. 
on a rack when it clicks it 10 times. Like, what the fuck, dude? Oh my god, this is so stupid. <sighs> rack when it's dead. Like, sorry if, if y'all, like, you know what I mean? Don't like me being pissed off, but it's fucking dumb, in my opinion, right? Like, somebody make it make it make sense. Did I lose anybody else? I lost Sanaconda. Like, somebody please make it make sense. You know? For a friend. For a friend, honestly. Ugh. Disgusting. Oh, he withdrew the nice double out into Mara. That's fine. I'll go back out into this thing, then. I should've just freeze drive, But, you know, we couldn't risk those. We couldn't risk those. We couldn't risk those. Alright, so the top of Finny. I like that. I like that little aggressive double, though, brother. That was nice. That was nice. That was very nice. I love the little aggressive double. I actually do. I actually do. That was beautiful. A little breath of fresh air. Alright, so Hydro Pump Finny is doing... 36 to Krognal. We just go right back out on a Krognal. There's literally no point to think about it. Um, yeah. And then we freeze dry. And then we get chip. We get the we get the amount of chip we need on this for Dracovish. That's just it. Calm mind. Easy. Easy. Uh, easy calm mind. Okay. Okay. This is scary. So my play is actually um, to still freeze dry. Um, even though I do this, like, I have defog on this for this specific moment to defog into toxic. But I still think, like, unless he call mines again. If he call mines again, then I'll do it. But right now, I do believe that, uh, freeze dry is my way to go. Because it does, it does minimum 33%. Well, depending on his spread, I should say. It does minimum 33%. Let's see how it goes. Two minutes left. Wow, who would have thought? Maybe if you didn't click fucking protect all those times, we'd have been fine. Okay, so plus two. Plus two. Moonblast is doing 63. I'm at... 102. Oh, wow, Moonblast is a guaranteed KO. Okay, if he's modest. We're gonna assume he's timid. If he has Draining Kiss now, then, you know... It's fine, really, because we literally have, um, we literally have Zara, who just, who just, you know what I mean, clicks buttons. Someone's gonna freeze dry again. Off chance we get a freeze. Off chance, uh, we just crit and knock him out right here. This man really clicked protect like five times, bro. This man actually clicked it. Five times. Five times. More than five times. I don't, I lost count. Hey, and we living. We're living, living. Let's go. He doesn't even get that KO. He doesn't even get that KO. You'll love to see it. And then we go out into Zera, and we just click Plasma Fist until our little heart gives out. I'm actually... Oh, man. Actually, wait a minute. Dracovish is useless here now. I might lose this. Um, crap. How many turns of sand do we have? Yo. Wait, I actually need to Calc Dracovish for Finny. Okay, Dracovish should actually knock it out. Um, I think it depends on how many turns of sand we have. Actually, I wasn't paying attention. I can't look. I can't do it. I can't do it. I actually don't know how many turns of sand we have. I think. Hold on. One. Yeah, we lost. No, I'm just kidding. We might not have lost. We might have lost. We might not have lost. Oh man. Let's see, Tapu Finny. So it's going to be Kartana. I mean, honestly, I don't want to recreate this. In my opinion, I won this. This is what you did. This is the, this is the, this is the, wait, he has three Pokemon left. Oh, we didn't give it a, we got rid of Finny, but Finny's not dead yet. Like, this is, this is the, op, the option you choose when you don't fucking want to run land timer, bro. The game said I won, I won. But honestly, I'm down, I'm down to do a little recreation, but that's just that. Like, depending on what his Lottie was, if it was Scarf... Uh, then he still could have won there. But I think Dracovish was actually useless now. Uh, because I'm not Scarf, I'm banned. And he wants to hop on a call. So I guess we're gonna hop on a call. 